So I'll run over to this. Alright, so Blaziken. Why is Utah going Blaziken? Okay. We have Shadow Mewtwo and Blaziken. What a combination. Is Utah figuring since he's uh, winner side, he's able to goof around a little bit and experiment with characters? That's all I can imagine. Okay, that was quite a trade there. What's interesting about this matchup is that both characters basically have to play as if they only have one HP because they both have moves that use their HP as a sort of fuel, I guess. Storm getting an excellent conversion off of that 6Y. And resting, very important. Good patience on Utah's part, making sure that he's able to block that uh, forward Y. But it uh, looks like Storm just went in and grabbed him. Smart move. All right, being playing patient. That was, an, that was weird. Uh, definitely not quite what Storm had in mind, though. That was a good teleport out, but he still got grabbed. Very unfortunate. But yes, uh, that uh, that was like one awkward hitbox that just sent Utah straight to the ground. Probably a linking hitbox. Oh, and Utah takes it with the 2Y. All right. Starting up round two. Storm starting off with just a Shadow Ball and a forward Y. Very nice. Using the Vortex for all that shield pressure and throwing out a Flamethrower. Utah trying to stay patient. Oh, but that JX does not work there. Nor does that, uh, I want to say that's 8X. Fumu, I apologize for getting everything wrong about your character now. Okay, moving on. Uh, Shout out to throwing out the Vortex and another Flamethrower to punish Utah's uh, jump. That was a solid read. Using the Miracle item, mix up Utah and get in a grab to win round two. So now we're one to one and one to one in game one. All right. Let's see how we're gonna start off. Okay, good movement from Utah to avoid killer, but uh, homing attack is still gonna take round one. Both of them have burst on deck right now. Okay, teleporting away. Okay, throwing out a counterattack after that uh, preemptive barrier. Both of them declaring burst. Victini coming out to give Utah those uh, critical hits. Eevee coming out to give, oh, good punish there, except once again, only one hitbox, which doesn't allow him to follow up with the burst attack. Very unfortunate. Good counter on the uh, non-EX blaze kicks, uh, allowing him to punish Utah, but Oh, that's gonna hurt. Solid attack right there. Uh, both are down extremely low, but Utah is able to take, or not Utah, Storm is able to take game one. I know my players. Very nice work on Storm's part. I suppose I might as well uh, put my name in here. Cause Ragman is on commentary. Hello. I don't have a camera pointed at me because I should be on the other side for camp commentary. But I'm not because nobody else is updating stream. All right, looks like Utah decided to go back to Gardevoir because he needs to stop picking random in grand finals. Honestly, I love Shadow Mewtwo's openings because they're so intense and then there's no actual release of tension except at that particular one. I think my favorite is the one where he's like curled up in the air, it's like huge vibrations, and then it just stops. All right. Oh, throwing out the moonbeam. It's like Utah was caught in the ending of an attack animation. I believe that was Energy Ball. So he wasn't able to shield before the pillar became enhanced with the Miracle Eye. Oh, good counterattack, stuff, uh, stuffing out the homing attack. And they clashed with the uh, 4X and whichever move it was that Shadow Mewtwo used. I honestly didn't actually see. Oh, wow, dominant first round from Utah. Just destroying Storm. 
But Storm has made comebacks before. We'll see if he's able to do it here. Oh, throwing out the Shadow Ball. Fully charged for a Faith Shift. Another pillar, but he gets hit before he's able to use Miracle Eye, which, no, which prevents him from enhancing it. Oh, Utah tries to grab him, but uh, Storm counters by declaring Burst and sending out that wave of energy. Up. Vortex, all right. It's going to cut his Burst even shorter, but that's a solid grab. That's going to hurt. Utah down to 132, throwing out Electro Balls, but he can't Miracle Eye those. Now, thanks to Rotom, he's no longer able to jump until he disappears or face shifts as such. Utah with the raw air counter. I feel like that should have been punished, but I don't know what, uh, I don't know if Shadow Mewtwo has any strongs that are fast enough to punish that, so. Or any, yeah, strongs. Oh, another air counter. That one's going to convert and take uh, game two to Utah. Very nice work there. We'll have to see if uh, up, and we're going straight back into it. That did not take long. All right, old Ferrum Town, very nice. It's a lovely city. I I generally enjoy visiting it in the fall. All right, throw out the Shadow Ball to just completely ignore the, whatever projectile it was Utah threw out. I couldn't even see it. It was that fast. Forward wide, taking the first phase. Very important for Shadow Mewtwo, given how much synergy he already has, which is a ton. Oh, that's a good counter attack. Gonna punish uh, Storm's shield or shield pressure, and then we're already back to half and half health for both of them. A little under for Shadow Mewtwo now. But he's declaring burst, bringing himself back up, and giving himself a massive power boost alongside Eevee, adding additional power to that. Oh, this is going to be a raw burst, not going to hit. Oh, it does hit. Okay. But it doesn't uh, go into full animation because it was too far away. Very unfortunate for Storm, but I'm sure he'll be able to take it back if uh, previous rounds are any sign. Oh, counterattack into Rotom into further hits from the same counterattack. That's a combo I don't think I've seen very often, but makes total sense. All right, it's going to be extremely close here. He almost fell into that dazzling gleam, which I think might have spelled the end for Storm. But he's able to take, but he's able to take it back and take the first round. So very nice work there. All right, just ignoring the magical leaf by throwing out another shadow ball. All right, that's going to combo there into a fully charged 4x. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Another counterattack, making sure that Utah's able to take this space. Oh, grab. All right. Storm using rest in order to recover some of his health. All right, go to burst. And once again, also using uh, Eevee because he can't have too much attack, you know? Oh, looks like he pressed the A button a little too late. Looks like he pressed the attack button a little too late there and wasn't able to get the full attack in general. All right, losing that burst. Utah still got his going. Let's see, he's got the counter, but he didn't follow up properly. He delayed his second hit, but the burst attack hits anyway because uh, it looks like Storm pressed a button. Very unfortunate on Storm's part. All right, starting off, the, all right. Forward Y, changing the shift, changing the face immediately. That was interesting. I feel like that the bottom one should have still hit Shadow Mewtwo. Like, I know it's an anti-air and it's designed specifically for that, but come on. All right, oh, Utah walking up slowly and attempts to grab, but it doesn't quite work out in his favor. There we go. Oh, good teleport out, avoiding the grab, but Utah is able to just barely deal with him with, uh, I want to say that's 4Y? No, that's uh, 8X, isn't it? Yes, Utah is absolutely an animated person. This is what he does. Oh, excellent shield pressure. Getting the shield break, but he isn't able to... It's a little too late for him to be able to like get a burst off of it or something, which would have been huge. All right, recovering more HP. Oh, good teleport to avoid the uh, to avoid the arrows there. Oh, and the pillar taking game three for Storm. 
Excellent work. Excellent work for Storm. All right, and oh, looks like we got a char character change going on or a support change. Definitely on Utah's side because Storm knew exactly what he was doing and didn't move a single bit of his cursor. So let's see who Utah's decided to go with. Is he gonna pull out the unexpected Libre in game three of grand finals? No, it's gotta be a support change or he just wanted a moment to compose himself. Either is possible, honestly. I can't tell until uh, we actually start, however. All right, looks like he changed supports. He's working with Miss Magius now. Probably gonna try to help give himself some pressure on approaching. All right, oh, good. That was an actually really good 6x going underneath the small shadow ball. All right, comboing into, uh, I've forgotten what that move is called, is uh, 6A. I know that it's Calm Mind to get the charges for it, but is that one itself Calm Mind or is that a different move? Either way, once again, getting this full combo, Utah getting a dominant lead in this first round. All right, Storm declaring burst in order to get rid of all the pressure on him for a moment. Throwing out a raw burst, I don't, yeah, I didn't think that was gonna hit. Throwing out the Miss Magius, gonna try to give himself some pressure for approaching. Yep, sticking close to Miss Magius, but, oh! All right, that was interesting. Oh, Earthquake. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Interesting teleport in, but Utah is declaring burst, so he wasn't able to get whatever mix-up he's going for. Oh, and the future sight. Catching him at the very last second. Right before Utah probably lost the round himself. All right, going on to round two. Magical Leaf. Uh, neither one was really particularly successful, although Magical Leaf did still hit. Good grab from Storm. Throwing out a Moonbeam from Utah. Looks like he's able to combo off that uh, JX. Oh, and he gets a Just Frame. Very nice. All right, Utah down to below half health, while Storm is actually almost nearly full. All right, Storm's declaring burst. Just wants to make sure he doesn't lose any of this momentum, but the Moonbeam, Moonblast is gonna hurt. Roth 4X for some reason? Goodness knows why. Uh, but uh, Storm's able to get that grab deal. A ton of damage to Utah. Utah's only down to 60 health. He's gonna have to work hard if he's gonna bring this back. Thunder's gonna put some more chip on him. Uh, good charged, uh, good charged uh, neutral Y. Very nice work. Throwing out a Psychic, going, uh, declaring burst. He's gonna do the chip. Oh, wow. And uh, Utah takes uh, game four. Yes, game four. I, kn I know my math, I promise. I do computer science, I know math. It is a fact that two plus two is in fact four. All right, going on to game five of uh, grand finals. Will Utah be able to take this full grand finals all to himself from the winner's side? Or will Storm be able to take this round and, make, and bring back in a grand finals reset? Only time will tell in the next two or three rounds. Fight. Ah, the neutral eye going right through the shadow ball. Oh, and the small laser in order to prevent the pillar from actually hitting Utah, that's interesting. Okay, he tried for the raw force, but it didn't work. Uh, instead, Storm teleported through and grabbed him and immediately started to recover. All right, oh, very nice. Uh, didn't quite work out. I thought it was going to. Oh, that was a solid 6x to punish the teleport. Nice work there. All right, so far Utah is up one round. Oh, excellent pressure from Storm, allowing him to get in the grab. Wasn't able to crit, which means that a Utah probably tried to CADC in. Uh, oh, but that was a solid combo ending in the uh, 2Y. All right, another grab from Storm. And he's giving himself an attack buff. They both have attack buffs right now and burst. Uh, Storm decided to use his reverse hitbox on the 6X. That's a little gross. Uh, but Storm decides to dash in and get a grab, bringing uh, Utah way down to 225 HP. 
Utah declaring burst, recovering a little bit of HP and giving himself the ability to have some pressure back on Storm, who's no longer in burst due to the short duration. All right, oh, that's gonna be a good combo. Doesn't fully convert. He didn't press a button, it looks like, so he can just teleport through and grab. Very nice. Here we go on, on match point, set point for both players. Is Storm going to be able to take this again and take it to the Grand Finals? Oh, they both hit each other with uh, resand moves. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a solid shield, but Earthquake is able to take the first phase. Vortexing in order to put a lot of shield pressure on Utah. Uh, Gardevoir's counterattack coming out just a little before and piercing Shadow Mewtwo's. The Shadow Mewtwo is now in burst. Doesn't, I don't think he meant to land that side strike. I think he was expecting that just to be shield pressure. But it works out anyway. Throwing out the fully charged Shadow Ball. Utah's calling out Miss Magius. Gonna try to get some pressure on Storm, but it doesn't work out for too long. He's able to get rid of her quickly, but he counters and Utah's able to grab him. Oh, that's gonna come, that's gonna bring things much closer. Utah declaring burst, throwing out the JY and trying to get a 6x punish. Uh, I don't think that's gonna hit, but yep, teleport, grab. That's gonna do a lot of damage, big damage, 76. Throwing out the pillar and a grab instead of Miracle Eye. Down to 40 HP for Utah. Oh, both trying to counter, and Storm takes it! We have a Grand Finals reset. Excellent work from Storm Striker. All right, we're going straight back into it. We're back 0-0, zero, zero, both in the loser's side now. No changes to any characters and supports. We're now in Fos Volcano. It's going to work hard. Both players now are... They're going to try their hardest, I'm sure, because Storm worked for the loser's bracket to get here. Utah just got sent to the loser's bracket and doesn't want his streak to end now. All right, Storm with the Vortex to Pierce Counter. Teleporting through to mix up and cross up Utah. It's able to get, it's able to catch the vulnerable frames of Utah's counter and convert off of it a little. But right now, oh, just barely able to avoid that psychic by hitting Utah. Very nice work. Two are just about even, and I'm pretty sure Storm has done more damage to himself than Utah has so far. All right, declaring burst, bringing himself up a little more. Good shield there, preventing the neutral Y from hitting him. All right, oh, Utah backdash. No, he didn't, never mind. I thought he backdashed, he just walked back. Oh, and Storm's able to take round one with the JY. Very nice work there. All right, Storm looking like he's running the uh, support uh, cheer, allowing him to have Eevee immediately upon the start of a round, which is very important for him. All right, oh, flamethrower breaking, just outlasting the counter just enough. Vortexing to keep himself safe on shield. Oh, side strike. No just frames, but that's fine. And he's gonna recover, very good. So far, Utah hasn't dealt a single hit to start. I take it back, I spoke too soon. I apologize, I commentator cursed him. All right, throwing out the uh, Ninetales. I forgot Ninetales is the one paired with uh, Myth Magius, to be honest. All right, Utah just sitting in shield, waiting for his moment to declare birth, apparently. Oh, Storm teleported in, but Utah caught him with the air counter instead. Oh, using the 8x to crush uh, the attempted grab. Oh, wow. They both know that they're both trying to teleport in and grab. That is Gardevoir's counterattack coming out just slightly faster than Shadow Mewtwo's. Very unfortunate, but it looks like we were one to one in round one. Look at all those ones. All right, neutral Y just phasing through the Shadow Ball. Gotta be careful against Gardevoir because she's able to do that. Due to her neutral Y just ignoring all other projectiles and phasing through them. All right, oh, clashing the 6Y with what appeared to be a 5X, but I wasn't, but I wasn't able to tell. Okay, this Magius pressure doing a lot to scare Storm. 
like, uh, oh, air counter is able to get through. Is Storm going to be able to bring it back? He's declaring burst, so that's going to be a first step for him. 6Y? No. Moving in, uh, flamethrower, definitely. Future Sight's going to just deal a ton of distant pressure. Lots of shield pressure. The problem is that chip means nothing to Shadow Mewtwo because he does chip to himself. He's used to it. Oh, breaking the shield, that's going to be round one to Utah. Excellent work on his part. But that isn't necessarily a sign that everything's going to end. Oh, I deeply appreciate that. All right, hello, I'm your commentator. All right, we're going into game two now. Again, no changes in any regard. Want we'll to see who everyone's starting off with. Utah starting with, with, with Miss Magius again, and Storm sticking to Eevee because that's obviously far more useful to him than Frogadier. Not to be rude to Frogadier, but yeah. All right. Oh, good counter from Utah. Gonna that's gonna hurt Storm a lot. Queen, while you're here and while I can reach chat, remind me what uh, Gardevoir 6A is called, because I don't know if that's Calm Mind or a different move. I know Calm Mind is the charges, but that's it. All right, Storm with a solid combo there. Throwing out the Thunder, but Utah's able to counter through it and see if he sees out. Declaring Burst to avoid the grab. Nice call from Storm. Oh, that was close. His teleport almost brought him right back into the attack. That would have been unfortunate. All right. Grab does a ton as long. Oh, right. Throwing out the uh, sh uh, Shadow Ball A, but then immediately throwing the Shadow Ball afterwards because he's able to do that. Lots of shield pressure. Oh, that's going to hurt. That There's a chance that that might be death. Okay, that is stored power. Stored power. All right. Calm mind into stored power. It all makes sense now. Yeah, that's death. Oh, that's unfortunate. It was an unsafe uh, JX, allowing Utah to capitalize on, on it with his own burst attack. Very effective there. All right, Shadow Ball and crew, but the neutral eye homing in and just taking him in anyway. Canceling the uh, Moon Blast. Converting as usual into his favorite combo. Oh, I think he was hoping that would combo, but Miss Meiji takes way too long to start up for that to be a combo. Just not a thing. Uh, Psychic. Uh, Storm's able to avoid it by teleporting backwards. Oh, the neutral, the charge neutral Y is able to pierce counters. Keep that in mind, children. Uh, oh, and Utah takes game two. Very effective play. Absolutely solid. Storm's gonna have to work hard if he wants to get this reverse 3-0 and take the game. Or perhaps Utah's gonna have his opportunity right here and right now to finally win the whole tournament and take everything to himself. Oh, Dark Coliseum final. Uh, looks like Shadow Mewtwo may have the home field advantage simply by nature of the fact that this is a space in reality that he created himself by being way too powerful. Going back to the gameplay cam because I forgot to go to the no overlay cam. Very unfortunate on my part. Walking in to avoid the sidekick and just grab him. Very nice move. Throwing out the thunder for Oki pressure, but the counter comes out too fast for the grab to hit. All right. Sure, why not? Oh, Dazzling Gleam with a trade, and I don't think he meant to recover there. That was definitely an accident. That was not supposed to happen. Utah with the 8x to crush the grab. That's doing a lot of pressure there. Oh, and the... T that I always forget, that one's 2y, correct? <clears throat> 2y to get through uh, Storm's own grab. Very unfortunate. All right, throwing out the Shadow Ball to immediately face shift. Fully charged. Throwing out another Shadow Ball to prevent the uh, Moonbeam from happening. Moon Blast, I always do that. All right, lots of pillar pressure, teleporting away to stay safe from the counter, and he's coming in with a grab to punish him. Recovering, very good. Throwing out a Shadow Ball, that's gonna hit. Uh, good, good uh, shielding there. Utah able to punish with the counter attack. Uh, teleporting to get through the grab, but 4X is able to uh, crush the Storm Zone grab. Okay, 2i is slight, good. Oh, that was close. All right, that's going to combo. That's death. All right. Storm putting himself here. He's, he's saying, I'm not going to lose just yet. 
I want to win this. All right. Going up the Vortex. Gardevoir not able to punch that. Oh, Flamethrower did not last long enough this time around, and Utah is able to punish with the air counter. Throw out on Miss Meiji. It's going to get that pressure. Oh, but Storm does not care. He just walks up and grabs instantly. Very nice work there. All right. Uh, definitely Utah's in the lead right now, 332 HP. But in any moment, if Utah makes one mistake, Storm can bring this back. All right. So Utah right now is on match point. Shadow Ball just erasing the projectile. Okay, 6Y, going to do a lot of damage here. Good conversion, getting the JY, 8Y into, I, I believe that's a charged 5X. And now Storm is in the lead with Utah down to 48. He has the chance to take this back now. Getting lots of shield pressure here. Oh, but Utah stuffing him out with the 8X. Teleporting away, very safe move. Oh, but Utah takes it. 3-0 in loser in uh, Grand Finals reset over Storm Striker.